What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Bennett, back here and again, although I've never been here. What the hell am I talking about? Welcome to the All About It podcast. It's episode 100. It's a centennial. That's, that's, that's 10, 10 times. It's 20, five times. I mean, that's good math right there, if you ask me. Welcome back to the show, or if this is your first time with us, thanks for tuning in. This isn't just me. I'm never alone. With me today and all days, it's Ariel. Hi, everyone. Hi. It's Ariel. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Welcome to YouTube. That's right. You're never alone. You are literally never alone. It's true. I am, I am always with you. Oh, you are like the <laughs> like the Holy Ghost. For I'm always with you, sir. That's, well, that's all I got. Maybe we should do a little <laughs> preamble just to kind of welcome maybe some new viewers to the show. Uh, sure. You know, thanks for checking out the show gang yeah thanks for joining us all about a crew could not uh do this without you and we we've been we've had the request to get onto youtube for quite some time and now that we're here it, it feels right feels so right so expect weekly episodes of the all about it show to now be i just said show <gasps> just said all about it show oh, all about change it. the handles alert twitter oh wait we don't have it, a twitter if you're listening to this <laughs> via a podcast app thank you for tuning in of course we're not going to leave you hanging this is still available obviously you're listening to it right now yeah with your ears but uh if you want to switch over to youtube you are uh, welcome it is your right <laughs> it is your right to it is do your so. god-given right so we wanted to do something special for the 100th episode you know we've been working at this since what january of 2019 january 2019 baby and uh We've always wanted to do this. I know. Always wanted to kind of put the cameras on and see what happens. Now we're here and we're going to talk about some uh, fun things. But first, obviously, if you're familiar with the show, we got a week in review. Week in frickin' review. So why don't we go ahead and review the week? My <laughs> my 100th week. Da 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 da. Let me get into my notes. Okay. One of the first things I wanted to mention was that I went to the store alone. I went to Trader Joe's. And, you know, I'm, I have my cart, I have my mask, as, as does everybody else, and I'm in the produce area, and all of a sudden, this girl with her cart and her boyfriend kind of, like, sideswipes me a little bit uh -oh. as I'm starting to go, like a cutoff situation. Right, I can picture And she goes, um, you're going the wrong way. Whoa. And I was like... We got a traffic cop. I was so taken aback. That I just didn't, I could not come up with a comeback in time. And obviously, in hindsight, it's like, God, I wish I had said something. Why didn't I say something? Well, and then the, on the car ride home, I'm sure you're like, oh, I, I called you. That. I, I called, I called, I called Bargles. I said, Bargles, this is what happened. You should have hit her in the mouth. Oh, oh, and then by the way, after the fact, I saw her looking at me and snickering to her boyfriend and laughing at me. Well, what did know, I do? I didn't uh, do anything. It sounds like you went the wrong way. Who snickers at Trader Joe's? They don't even sell those there. I know. So that happened, but okay. it's fine. I'm fine. Well, is that, so that's, so that happened. Okay. And for some reason, I thought that it was worth bringing up. <laughs> I think it was worth bringing up. I think we've but I called you and, you and you were like, oh, you could have, uh, you could have said, oh, which way would you like me to go or be like snooty? And it's like, I'm not snooty on the spot. I think when someone really, uh, uh, when they are getting really aggressive about grammar or traffic or driving or anything like that, don't just apologize and walk away. I right. think that's way too simple. I think instead you need to stand firm and, uh, you know, ask them how it, how it should be done. Right. You know, turn them into the teacher that they so much want to be. They want to be an instructor, a teacher, the disciplinarian. Be like, okay, how would you like me to, how would you like me to? But then uh, they're going to take that as me being not cool sarcastic yeah weird. yeah sure. anyway well i think you could Anywho. have also here's a, a nice trick to really put someone in their place a stranger although i've never done this i don't think i ever would have the balls to do this right balls but you just point at something random in their cart and you just kind of heckle them about it <gasps> you're like oh look at that you eat that or you know oh you drink that <laughs> okay whatever oh persimmons what do you use those for <laughs> well yeah persimmons kind of a cool fruit really what do you right. use for i don't i don't know i just think they look cool <laughs> I don't even know what they taste like. I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> you wouldn't know. You wouldn't. Well, in this past week uh, in, in my life, uh, well, both of our lives, my father, Jerry, uh, was featured in an article for a nice. magazine, a jewelry magazine. So we'll clap. Jer Bear. Clap for... Love you, Jer. 
shout out to you. Wait, I love you too. Shout out. I know that's you're asking me to do a lot of editing on that. <laughs> it's a lot of editing. So, um, he was kind of like a featured player in a jewelry magazine. He's been a jeweler for, I don't even know, like 30 years now. Yeah. And uh, most recently with Alvin Goldfarb in Bellevue, Washington. Great establishment if you're looking for jewelry uh, and good people. And so, yeah, they did a whole write-up about him, about his whole career. So and cool. how he's like, I like putting a diamond on your finger because it's like a photograph. So there's a lot of little poems, little jeweler poems haikus. scattered. Throughout. Yeah, little, little haikus. So, you know, so cute. he deserves it. He deserves so it. So cute. So I want to talk about my hallucinations. And if anyone who listens to the podcast remembers all about ghostly encounters, yeah, you may remember me talking about my hallucination that I had the night before we recorded regarding the man standing at the edge of the bed God help us all, right? Right, right. Had a little freak out moment. Go listen to All About Ghostly Encounters if you want to hear the full story. Scared uh, to half your death's end. So I was on FaceTime with my mom last night explaining that as I go on with these hallucinations that have only been happening at the beginning of this year until now. Right. Which is so weird. that They just started. They started as little insects on the bed crawling around. Or like one singular spider crawling on the sheets. Okay. A hallucination. Right. As I'm falling asleep or waking up. Okay. Only. I don't see stuff just in my waking state. Only when I'm about to fall asleep or right you, when I'm waking up. You're saying little bugs on the bed? Yeah. Little crawly things. Little toys. Little toys with little, uh, little, uh, like, like Tonka trunks. What is this? Toy Story? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toy oh, Story. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing these things, right? And they're, they get bigger and bigger as time goes on. Okay. As time goes on, the hallucinations become bigger items or things or people or robots. So the other night, I looked over at Bargles, and he's sleeping next to me, of course. And all of a sudden, Bargles kind of likes to go like this with his arm and like, and like scratch his arm in his sleep like this. It's, yeah, it's like true. he puts his arm up in the air and he like does this for a long time. And I'm like, can you freaking cut it <laughs> with the scratching in your sleep? It wakes me up. And it's like you're doing it so slow that it's like, I just want to like scratch it for you. I just want to scratch it. So I'm looking at his arm and in my waking state, as I'm coming to, it looks like a robot arm going all the way up to the ceiling and there's like mechanics and bolts and nuts and screws and stuff and then i woke up and it disappeared okay this is my arm so my arm your I, arm was a robot arm so actually that wasn't scratching i was activating i was activating <laughs> myself and that's how uh, that's how it works okay that's how it works i just wanted to give uh, an update on my hallucinations it's fine i'm fine everyone i'm fine I'm fine and I'm okay. And I just wanted to let you know that it went from spiders to robots to full grown men in our room. And that's all. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That, no problem there. That's scary. Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. That sounds like something that uh, I would be very worried about. If I'm I was fine. Those kind of hallucinations. I'm fine. So, the next topic at hand last week, we had a gift guide episode. And we talked about all sorts of small shops that you can purchase gifts from. Oh, yeah. And episode 99. Who could forget? Episode 99. Right. 999. Episode 999. So we talked about some small shops. We encourage you to small shop this year. Small shop? You're going to small shop? <laughs> shop small this year. And I just have to say that I feel like this year more than ever, it's super important. Yeah, I think it's always important. It's always important. But this year really, truly just... Take, it takes really the cake. Really takes, takes the cake. It takes the cake. So, you know, do you have anything to touch on from last week? Do we want to talk about what we want to buy for Black Friday weekend? Yeah, the holiday weekend. What are we going to take advantage weekend? of? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I've... Probably a new television. New, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, our yes, TV has been broken for... Uh, years it still works but a lot of the backlights are all out yeah so i mean there's just there's just dark blotches everywhere don't watch a whole lot of tv no. but 
I'm always looking for a good deal, so it's kind of hard not to take advantage. There's a lot of good deals. Uh, when we sit down to eat dinner, we watch TV. By the time this airs, we'll have already celebrated Thanksgiving, uh-huh. uh, the holiday weekend. Uh-huh. That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, well, you know, uh, something else I want to celebrate. Unless, is there something else that you want to get? That, that Oh, I already uh, bought an espresso. A, a, an espresso? Yeah. Nice. What's that, that? What's all that? I don't know if do that's they do like that? cool or not. Do they? I don't oh, know. so and it's it's an espresso machine. Yeah, yeah. It can make coffee and espresso. Great. An espresso. Okay. I just don't know if you know the cool thing to do is get like a drip thing, like a pour over, pour over. Oh mm. my god, the pour over. They make it look so cool. You I'm know not, what I mean? No, I, I I hear you. And like I'm sure it's great. I just can't. Ah. Grinding every morning. Mm-hmm. I already grind enough during the day. It's true. You know, I it's don't true. need to grind in the morning too. Yeah, you get on that half pipe and you start you know. rolling with the trucks and the skates and Truly the boys. Really grinding. You're just grinding like in uh, Tony Hawk. Grinding and thriving. You know, where you just grind forever. Can just we talk about how obsessed I was with the music in that video game? Was? Oh, it still is. Still are. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. the what's the main lick in that one song that everybody loves? Where I it's mean, like, there's a couple, but I think the one by Real Big Fish is probably the one that you're picturing in your head with like, the ska the main song. Cor- what's the chorus? Please remind me. I don't know. There's I would so, sing it's all it kind of like merging it. together into one song for me, but it's like, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> okay. If you're unfamiliar with the soundtrack to Tony Hawk Pro Skater, <laughs> do yourself a favor, go check it out. Is that fair? Yeah, that's, that's a fair fair, that's fair acknowledgement. Fair. Okay. Well. That was a good reviewed uh, week, it's and great, uh, great review. You know, a little, little weird uh, time travel, but uh, you know, something about this show, um, you know, new audience. We want to explain something. It's important to to you know know the rules of the show, the mm-hmm. all about it show, the all about it podcast. We we don't just come here, uh, you know, with, with nothing. We don't come to the table with nothing. We come to the table with something. Don't tap it, okay? But um, I don't. I never know what it is. Yeah. And so then I gotta ask. Right. Uh, I guess this this lady, what's going on? What's up with that? And so I go. So I say something like blah blah blah. I do some misdirection. I say like I don't even know what today's episode's all about. And then I ask because she knows. Right. So and then I say, tell me, what is it? What right. is today's episode all about? Do you know? Do you even have an idea? It's all about pet peeves part two. Okay. <laughs> the, the funny thing is that he doesn't know, but he's somehow fully prepared. Well, I got notes. How do I not know? But I have like a computer. I got my. I got all this stuff. I got stuff on my yeah, head. But, how, do I, how do I not know? I don't. But for, before don't know. we dive into what Instagram provided, because people wrote in. True. With some incredibly funny and specific pet peeves. My lord. My Some lordy. Lordy, lordy. Okay. This rivals the last batch. I think, Absolutely. You know, you ask uh, people on Instagram great questions all the time. If, yeah. you, if you're unfamiliar, you should follow Ariel on Instagram. It's a, it's a great follow. And, you know, it's never not entertaining, double negative. Wow. But it's, it's sometimes the response is overwhelming. And this was one of those cases. Okay. Yeah. I just basically stopped taking notes after the one thousandth note. Oh my god! So, especially when there was a thousand people, should I just get into this list? Well, of, of do we want to touch peeves? on ours first? Of course. Can I just say a of couple? Of course. Oh yeah, these are the ones at the top. The because top pet peeves. I have. It's not a new one for you. Something that you do that bugs something me. Something I do. Yeah. Something I do. Can you guess at all? Was it just then? Just now? Have I no. done it? Have I done it while we've been sitting here? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No. Can you guess it all? Can I guess? Idea? Can I guess what it is? Oh wow! Wow! Whoa! Hey! 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 I don't think you probably. What would. is? What is your pet peeve about me? No, I don't know. When you shove dish towels into the Ooh. rack of the oven, and then I enter the kitchen, and there's like five gross, used, wet dish towels stuffed, not placed nicely to dry stuffed into the oven rack 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Chef's Kiss. You know, that's the the world's smallest violin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Playing a song just for you. Oh, I love you know I love a good mildew towel, Barkles. I really do. Okay. Well, I apologize. Now that I know, I'll definitely make sure <laughs> oh, not told to you. do that again. Wah, wah, wah. Told, I've told you. Do that again. I've told you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, there, Bugs the crap out of me. There should only be maybe one or two. And yeah, we have about eight or nine in I've there. I've got and a they're few mismatched. more. What, you, what can I say? I've got what a few more. You have a few, few more of me. Uh, not specifically. Teeth on the fork, no matter who you're with. Oh. Teeth on the fork. Teeth, like clanking like when you go when you release the fork from your mouth and you're taking a bite of something and it's like i can't Mm. you can't even do the sound because i'm not a fork that's actually one of my pet peeves too that i wrote down kind of when uh you don't like it when people scrape yeah it's the sound of silverware touching the plate or bowl is just like i i think to myself why are you doing this and some people i know several people that do this when the plate is empty and you just have like some scrape, some little scraps, some little remnants, they'll scrape the plate. And uh, I just want to let you know that you shouldn't do that. I did that last night. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Don't do it. So, okay, trying to make use of all more. of our all of our tech- technology over here. Trying to. Use I have two more. Lay it on. Or? They're both about shoes. Okay. I cannot stand it when shoes are in the middle of the room. And sometimes I'm guilty maybe once a year. What do you think? In the middle of the room. In the middle of the Mine room. Mine are usually on the sidelines. They also, with you, shoes always have to be together. Yeah, shoes without right. question need to be placed and paired together. If there's one shoe over there and one shoe over there, I'm, I just, uh, I'm, I'm, what will I do? What right. will I do? Right. Wow. So there's that. Okay. And then shoes touching other things when they're on the ground. So like if your sweatshirt is on top of your shoes. Mm, I see. I see. Get it out of my Cause sight. Because shoes are gross. Touch shoes everything. Are kinda, yeah, you guys, okay. shoes touch everything. Everything. Dog pee pee. Everything. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. That's all I got, Virgos. That's all, folks. Okay, well, I have a pet peeve that I did not share, and I th- and it wasn't on the list oh. from what I saw. I mean, I didn't oh. I didn't read every little nook and cranny noodle, sure. uh, but I read most. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't notice this across the board. I didn't notice anybody else sharing this pet peeve with me, and maybe you will. Uh, it's when people do not return the shopping cart to the shopping cart stall yeah we definitely touched on this in the first episode when you you go shopping and you walk around a grocery store you walk like a mile and a half yeah like on on average it's between one and two miles you walk with that cart one and two miles you're going around oh i need my little raceroni whatever and then and then you take it to your car and you're just like screw this mess it's like the nicest guy or gal or the most evil, it's all the same to me. If, yeah. you, if you put, if you don't put the card away, then I, I'll put you down. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is. I've read articles about this. It's literally like the benchmark to tell if it's a good person or not. Really? If you're a good person or not. Because if you think it's not my responsibility, then that's just a little drop in an expanding bucket that says... Well, what else isn't your responsibility? What else are you just going to leave to somebody else to have to deal with when you could easily take care of it yourself? And that's just that's a sign of, uh, I think, I'm a selfish creature. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. I've returned other people's carts, not so much oh, this year, because I don't like touching. I don't like touching a bunch of stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. That Please other don't people do have been that. Touching. Please don't. Uh, but you know, that's that's my that's my pet peeve. Is that's, a, that's a good bargles. Okay. okay. Fare the fare thee well. Oh, okay. These are yours. Those. We're, that's These, mine. Okay. Mine. Okay. <laughs> no one else's, unless you want to join it. Okay. Um, well, should we just get into this list of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pet peeves? Okay. Stunning list. So I'll get rid of these right out the start because I know that you're right on board with this. And this was the overwhelming majority of write ins. I already know what it's going to be. Times a million. 
this was it, it gets a little specific after this but it's chewing uh-huh. and walking uh-huh. something about chewing chewing and talking chewing with your mouth open chewing gum yeah. chewing just hi, 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 hi. It's, <laughs> it's bad don't do it yeah don't um, do it and then walking People who walk too fast, people who walk too slow, people who eat while they walk. It's kind of like a combination of the two. Someone wrote in saying, I'm so annoyed when I'm walking behind someone who's just walking slow enough, but also fast enough for me to have to turbo boost around them. Yeah, I saw that. Which is so funny because we often go for walks. Right. And that happens often. All the time. Yeah, you have to turbo boost it. And, or it, we and go in this to, case, you got to turbo boost yeah. into the street. Yeah. You got to go because there's not enough room on the around. sidewalk now. You got to go around into the street. Yeah. Around. I like the turbo boost idea of like, oh, oh that was this, so funny. this little slow poke, I'm going to turbo boost right past you. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on now. Okay. That was so funny. A lot of loud chewers, gum chewers, people who talk while they eat, people. That was. When I say overwhelming majority, we're talking hundreds, pages and pages of people that are, you know, on the same team here. Chew with your mouth closed. Please. Don't chew gum. Don't even do it. Gum, you shouldn't even have it. Uh, and then... Uh, people disagree with that. And then, wa- <laughs> and then walking slowly. My old boss, Rich, used to say, you should walk in public, like on the sidewalk, like you're late to catch a flight. That's how you should walk. And he's kind of he's kind of an angry guy, so I get it. But yeah. you walk like you're gonna miss your flight. Like, yeah. come on, we gotta go. Yeah. What are we doing? We're not lollygagging around. And then people who stop. That was another. That was like oh, the, people who stop the right sub in front of the you. subcategory within the category is people who stop abruptly when they're walking in front of you. Ooh, I have I have another one I just thought of that has to do with stopping. Hmm. People that have a cart at the grocery store and mm-hmm. they just leave it in a random place and oh. it completely derails the entire flow of the grocery store. Th- that was one of my pet peeves from, I think, the last episode. Of oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. For the love of God, just take it with you. I remember like, there was please. a guy, he had a full cart and he left it on the other side of the grocery store in the middle of everything, in the yeah. middle of a busy, you know, in a, in a uh, intersection. You know, a, dab- a dabble doer. Yeah. So... <laughs> I love how just everything, by the end of this episode, I'm going to realize how petty or how annoying these things are. It's going to go one way or the oh, other. 100%. Either I'm going to go like, you know what? Everything's cool, man. Or it's going to be more like, no, you're right. You should pick up your floss. <laughs> Which leads me into when my husband leaves used floss on the coffee table. You are kidding. Mm. I am not okay. That is what, where Where does that measure between Ooh. used floss and like toenail clippings? I got to say the toenail clippings are worse. Yeah, I'm with you. you. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I appreciate that you're taking care of yourself. Jeez, these pet peeves are so good. Uh, How about when you ask someone to make plans, but they change your idea and then invite other people? I love it when that happens. I don't hang out with anyone like that. Yeah, no, we, we, I mean, we avoid uh, plans. I avoid most people. Uh, Plans. (laughs) People, uh, anything with that starts with the letter P, I think we're yeah. pretty. We avoid it pretty much. Yep. I think a pavilion, a a uh, what what else? Uh, the game of poker. Uh huh. Sure. Um, you yes. Know, persimmons. We just. Oh we're, yes, we're absolutely. Mm, mm, okay. How about people who recycle incorrectly or throw trash in a recycle? See, I think those are two very different things. Very different. Um, people who recycle incorrectly. That means like separating the plastic from the. Yes. Glass and yes. stuff. But I'd say the people that throw trash in a recycle, that's just, that's some disrespect. Yeah. You know, we yeah. have a recycling bin, you're going to throw trash in there. Yeah. And the train. And the train, And the train. Baby. So how about people who procrastinate and are late all the time? Ooh. This was another very repeated Yeah, point. I have anxiety about being late. And if someone is making me run late to something that is either my thing or that we're a part of and i can't control what happens right the anxiety is high probably one of my most triggering moments to be honest i don't know what it is i think it's maybe because i'm kind of a people pleaser and i don't want people to think that i'm late well it's something you can control you know a lot of people don't like people that are late 
Yeah. So it's, you know, I heard the expression, I think I've shared it on the show before. If you're early, you're really on time. If you're on time, you're probably late. And if you're late, why even bother? I would rather be three hours early for a flight than 20 minutes early for a flight. Nah, Does that make sense? I'd rather be about an hour early, you know. Well, yeah, if you can, like, control right. it perfectly. Right <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, now we're, we're going to come right into... I'm glad that these got randomized on my computer somehow, but Ooh. this is one of my favorites, is falling in the toilet at night because my man left the seat up. I can't with the seat up thing. It's really hard for me. But I, you never do it, ever. No, I don't. You're a good, you're a good man. Well, so. it's kind of like wearing a seatbelt. It's like using your turn signal. Yeah. It's like brushing Shit. your teeth in the morning and at right. night. Like this, it's just something you're supposed to do. You mm-hmm. you put the seat down. Uh, you know, when you put, if you put it up, you put it back down. You know. I've put it up, and left it up maybe once in my life. Yeah. And I think I fell in my own toilet. I'm pretty See sure. What's funny? Oh. I f- I think I fell. Oh, really? No. You left it up. You what? were because you were cleaning. Oh, okay. You were cleaning you can't, it. Don't point your finger at me. Yeah, that's, a, that's an you aggressive can't, No, no, no. Put the finger down. I clean the crap out of that crap. And off. then I fell in, and man, when when you when the butt touches the water. See, know, this is where having butt, a you know. big ass comes in clutch. Because I've never. Give me a situation where in. it doesn't come in clutch. I'll I, tell you what. I'll tell you what. I, I just told you. I'll, I'll tell, tell you. you. I just told I'll you. Tell I'll you. tell you. All right. Okay. Well, agree to disagree because I think I'll tell you. <laughs> How about when someone puts their feet on my chair? Ooh. What do you think of that? Bare feet? It depends on who it is. And it depends on the chair. Like, are we at home? Right. And this is like someone that's familiar? Right. Or is this like, you know, when I was in high school, I always felt like the guy behind me oh. was putting his feet on like the legs of my oh, chair my God, an and I could chair. feel like especially as some guys they, they like they do that thing with the leg mm-hmm. that's like shaking mm-hmm. and so then I'm, all of a sudden my chair's like I'm shaking you know yeah. what I mean? so I'm, I'm with you I'm with you how about you'll probably like this one people who interrupt you while you're speaking oh yeah you know yeah. Uh, what do you think about that we just talked about that yeah okay <laughs> How about people who mistake the word loose Ooh. when they really mean the word lose? Ooh. When, they, when they're trying to say, man, I, I'm going to lose, but they say I'm going to loose. Loose. Yeah. Because the ooh sounds like two O's, but it's not. I don't know who. It's it, not. I don't know why people do it. I know. It's like one of those I'm things grateful. where you were only ever taught the one way. No. That I'm, gets me. I somehow, guys, I... I slipped through the cracks in high school <laughs> as we like to say i slipped through them so hard and somehow came out on the other side knowing the difference between loose and lose and wow. i never get it wrong wow i mean that's pretty good and when i spell it and when i use those words i think about that fact i'm like oh i'm so freaking glad i'm using this right <laughs> how about people who suck on their teeth like i don't even want to do it to stop stop <laughs> Stop, stop. Gross, 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 gross. No one wants to hear it. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Some people have like an oral fixation. I'll take a, a teeth sucker over a cigarette smoker. A hundred percent. You know, or like, 100%. or what about someone that's got like a tongue ring and they're like, oh, look at my, look at my tongue. Look oh, my, little, my God. Clink, clink, clink. Bing, 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 bing. Like that's what I picture is going on. That's going on in my head when I see someone with a tongue ring. It's always a girl. You know? Where are you seeing girls play with their I'm tongues? I'm not. I'm not. I'm just like I'm just imagining in another world. I think you watch too much YouTube. Uh, well, yeah, I, I Google search uh, tongue clicking, tongue ring dance. <laughs> Let me pull up a tongue ring dance really quick. Can we save p- that put for up a... later? This is me <laughs> pretending. Okay, so how about oh more slow walkers, more loud loud chewers? Okay. People who eat pickles in a movie theater. I am so sorry. It's stinky and it's rude. Let me apologize because I have never, never have I ever known that that was even a thing. I am blown away that of all these, for the most part, 
I can agree with. Right. We can all kind of look at. Some are so specific, and we're going to get into even more specific ones. But this Oof. is one of these, like, I just, I guess because there is a crunch and a smell. Right, right, right. right. It's, it's vinegary. It's pickly. But I will confess what? that I have a deep love and appreciation for for anyone out there that's got the balls to go to a movie theater with, like, a jar of pickles. How do you even how, how do you even have that on your body? How? Because like you have a candy bar you put in your pocket. Okay. Do you have a cloak? Sneaky. Do you, you have know, a pickle cloak? What are you wearing? Like you know, those Jinko jeans or like <laughs> those uh you know, going to like a Blink one eighty two concert with those Jinko I don't, jeans. Jinko are they is that right? Is that like a wrong thing? Wide leg cargo Tommy Hill figure medium yeah, colored you, denim jeans from nineteen ninety eight. You could fit a couple oh jars of pickles in those things, I I'm telling you. A guy Fieri haircut with that look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. With crazy. some Vlasic uh, or some dill, you know, real crunchy pickles. <laughs> I'm not a big pickle guy, although when it's a good pickle, it it helps. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. How about wow. How about people who say the word library, but instead of library, they say library. It's lazy. It's lazy talk. No, I think it's just like loose and loose. No, it's not. Yes, I think it's one of those because things. Because there's not two libra- There's not two libraries. There's only one library. But there's loose and there's loose. True. Okay, fine. Okay. But there's but you were never taught that it was ever library. Ever. No, it's la- that's why it's lazy. Right, okay. It's lazy. All right, okay. If you're saying library, go to the zoop. <sighs> wow, that's, uh, that's pretty harsh. Okay, fair. I'm not sorry. How about musicals? I can't stand them. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got the best people on the internet I'm sending in stuff. I'm officially to, crying. Know, they, whether they know it or not, I, I want you to know. This is, this I, is great. I, I, Mu- musicals, dot, dot, dot. I can't stand them. Theater. I hate it. It's not the only person that wrote musicals. There's another thing about really? musicals right here. that uh, Musicals, they are the absolute worst. Oh my god! I don't agree, personally. I don't think that they're just ab- you wait. The absolute worst. The absolute worst. I can think of worse things than musicals for sure. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the musical. I mean, if you want to say I, that Cats is the right. absolute worst musical, then you know, even then, I think I'd be like, I don't know if it is. I for some reason know the beginning of Cats. I'm sure you do. But I'll do it. I'll do it a different, uh, different episode. I'll tell you that Hamilton. It's, you uh, keep going to the same part. Do you remember the the actress's name? I don't. I don't. <sighs> she is something else. Oh yeah, they're 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 pretty good. That Hamilton group. Yeah. You know, they've won the uh, the Tonys and the Emmys and the. He's uh, so uh, he's so snarky and uh, he's so witty and snarky is it and weird? charming. And this is probably like way <laughs> off base and uh, probably just not even. A fact. What? But I feel like when I'm watching Hamilton, especially with the Lin Manuel Miranda in mm-hmm. there, all the other people seem more talented than him. Really? Yeah. Like a better singer. Really? And like more attractive and I think just that more. He, oh my God, like, Margles. No, I think that he's. He's a genius. He wrote oh, it. He directed it and all that yeah. stuff. But I'm saying like in terms of. He seems kind of like when he's singing, he's doing a thing like this, and it's kind of like that. But everyone else is like, they're coming for you, and they're really, they've been singing, and they're singing from down here. But then he's kind of like, hey, uh, just you, just you. Wait. and there's a million things I haven't done yet, so hey, we got about three more hours of this to go. <laughs> That's Hamilton. So. I love musicals. I I grew up in a household where they were celebrated, and I, I just thought that was so funny because I'm like, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> but I can see why. There's a side of me that can see why someone would think that. Sure. If they haven't seen the right musical. Right. Well, it's kind of like uh, storytelling, but it's slower, and it's like there's a musical. It's kind of hard to follow sometimes. Some right. Of these musicals are kind of. I was to telling you that when you put on Hamilton the other night, I was like, I don't know I what's going no on. I have no idea what's going on. Like, I slept through U.S. history, and this is like not working for me. How about? Hey, how do you think I feel? How about people who put their dishes beside the sink instead of in the sink? Mm, we do that all the time, but we don't. We're not annoyed by it with each other because we both do it so often, and then we take turns cleaning the kitchen. We kind of have like a designated. Area yeah, we have a of the counter that can be utilized for this mm-hmm. 
purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. But I can see how other people are annoyed, especially if you have roommates. Ooh. Talk about it. Things like that. Some of these peeves are random and you can't do anything about it. This one sounds like you need to have a conversation. Absolutely. And you sit them down, say, listen, John, uh, you and your dishes need to stop. Get out of my house. If you put one more dirty dish on my countertop, I will stab you in the night. Oh. You know, he's going to be like, well, that's, that's too much. That's going way f- too far. It's like, well, you know what? I want you to take me seriously, John. Where were you last night? Okay, anyway. Theoretical fights freak me out. I know. Me too. Oh, me too. But they're also kind of fun. I just fell asleep. <laughs> How about people who trim their nails in public? Ooh, it's the same thing as flossing in public. It's like, can you wait? Can just you <laughs> But people who are always late. Okay. Yeah. These just get better. People who cut their noodles. So, okay. You know when you have a long spaghetti or linguine? Are you even going to try to defend this? <laughs> Do I sound like I'm going to defend it? No, sorry. I, I just interrupted you, which is a pet peeve. But I'm... I'm I got nothing. Go for it. What? You know before you <laughs> boil noodles and you crack them in half? Okay, yeah. That's what I'm picturing. That's, Are you cutting noodles after they're cooked? That's what I'm picturing. Okay, okay, that's fair. I'm picturing them cutting them with a pair of scissors, too. That's the Ooh. image in my head. It's a big bowl of noodles. And someone just going in there with a pair of scissors, just like... Ew, with scissors that, like, aren't meant for the kitchen. Oh, God. <laughs> How about <laughs> people who lick their fingers? Ooh. This was a big one last time, too, in part one. Ooh. <sighs> Get over it, you guys. It's a napkin. People who watch TikTok or YouTube videos at full blast in public. Can I tell you something really quick? Take the floor as okay. yours. The other week, I can't remember exactly where I was, but I was walking through a store with my car and some guy walked past me and we kind of like locked eyes because he was, he had his phone in his hand and it was shouting news, just the news. And it's like, I didn't come to Dollar Tree to hear this news. And when was this? This was a few weeks ago. Few weeks I can't ago. remember. All kinds of news going and on. And so a few he, weeks ago. like, I look at him like, you know, when you want to look at someone, like, you want them to know what you're thinking a little bit without saying something. When you're wearing a mask, which is hard. To... I kind of gave him the eyes, like, you're annoying, but I did. I didn't say anything. I was just kind of like, you're playing that out loud, sir, and I can hear everything. Do you have no consideration for others because everyone can hear you? I'd be so embarrassed. It's like I like my music and I like my podcasts and I like my YouTube videos, but I'd be mortified if I'm going to pretend like I'm going to watch them in public. I'll, I do the thing where I have the volume set to like one and I put it against my ear to listen and then I kind of like look at it and then I listen if I'm going to watch them in public. I just think it's kind of – It's so bad. It's It's weird. It's less weird at like a cafe, bus stop, train station, that kind of setting, DMV. It's very weird when someone's like in an aisle at a store, yeah, like a grocery store or a clothing store, and they're like watching something as they go. They're at like Ross. This is equivalent to someone on speakerphone in public. Am I wrong? I agree. I agree. Like, why do you need to be on speakerphone? What is the point? How about... I have a whole section here that's just called in general. <laughs> okay. Bad drivers in general. Yep. Love them. Whistling in general. Oh, we got one of those. Bumper stickers in general. Ooh. Baby talk in general. Okay. Baby talk gets really annoying. Uh, little kids in general. See, that's... <laughs> I'm I'm torn. A kid can be... How old is the oldest kid? Like, how old is the oldest kid in the world? You know, I think 12. I think, I think, before I think it's probably you're actually 13. Jerry. My, my dad Jerry's yeah, probably the oldest dad kid Jerry. in the world. I think when you turn 13, you're not allowed to, like, scream anymore for fun. You know well, what I mean? You know, if you're in the Jewish faith, you're a man at 13. You are oh, you yeah. are a man. And they give you a bunch of money, and you mm-hmm. go up to the thing, and you say the different you know, Did you spiel. have a bar mitzvah? No, mm-hmm. I did not. Mm-hmm. I went to a couple. I've been to one. Mm-hmm. I went to a couple, but I did not. Uh, what a party. <laughs> bunch of 13-year-olds drinking manischewitz. Rented out a whole freaking steakhouse. Dancing to the electric slide and Oh, my God. Else. Oh, I thought I looked so... I almost said hot, but then I took it back in my own head. I almost looked as hot as I could have ever looked. Right, yeah. At that point. Wow, black dress. How about the sound a printer makes? Yeah, it depends on the printer. 
I I was gonna say just printers printers in general actually would kind of be a pet peeve of mine because we have had nice printers in our live yeah. lives going back a very long time. I've always had problems with them. You know what's funny about that? Always have had problems with yeah. the paper jamming or the ink getting on, you know, the spilling Bluetooth. the ink. It's like everything. It's not never been easy. It's never so, been easy. Okay, I have to say something about the printer thing. Right. When your printer's not working and you're annoyed and you've been trying to make it work and you hear the sound of the printer, okay. there's nothing better. There's nothing more relieving and satisfying than no, like, right. thank right. God you worked, but like, why did you work all of a sudden? What made True. you work? And there's a chance that it starts making those noises and then it just shoots out a blank piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or, or like what you tried to print last time. <laughs> right. How about people who crack their knuckles a lot? Ooh, we both kind of do that sometimes. We do. But only at home. Maybe, how about when someone leaves just one sip of milk or juice in the container and then they put it back? That's a very common pet peeve. Right. Or cereal. Like, it's like crumbs and it's like, okay, why are we doing this? How about when people say it was the least I could do? (laughs) Why would anyone admit that? (laughs) I know. I've always wondered that too. I like that too. It's like... It was the least I could do. It's yeah. like, why is the, why is that the follow up yeah. to like, oh man, thanks for bringing that over. Oh, it's the least I could do. No. Why don't you just be like, you're welcome. Yeah. Just say you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome is way who, better. Who made the least you could do thing? I have no thing. idea. Who knows? Who knows? Holy. It was the least they could do. When people say they could care less when they really should be saying they couldn't care less. Oh yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. I know you were just talking about that yeah. one this past week. Couldn't care less. When people use the phrase, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You know what? In this like motivational, like <laughs> you go girl culture, I really, that is like, it's so, it can be taken either way, I feel like. Right. You got this. <laughs> How about, uh, this is from our friend Kim. She had a couple of really nice ones here. When guys scratch their balls and then don't wash their hands. I love it. We love to hear it. And, uh, you know, she's just hanging out with her husband, Kevin. So I think that's Honestly, an, that's an she's indictment. Honestly, she's right. It's an indictment on uh, Kevin. No, no, because she could see other guys do it. Which, like, by the way, guys, the guy community, uh, we can see you play with your balls. Like, we can all see it. You all know that we can see it. Like, I don't know why you think it's, like, a big secret when you, like, adjust stuff. Like, we know what you're doing. Right. We can see it. Right. Uh, and then, like, so I, I see her seeing other guys do that and saying that it's she knows that they're not going to wash up or do anything afterwards. She's not wrong. Because everyone's gross. That's why. Uh, she also said loud chewing. So mm-hmm. She jumped on that yeah. bandwagon. Uh-huh. Not pushing chairs in after eating. Ooh. Okay. So sorry about uh, not doing that when we came over to your house. <laughs> um, and having poor grammar. Having poor grammar. Um, that's Yeah, that can kind of get on I someone's nerves. I slip sometimes. I do slip sometimes. And we only have a couple more to share today, although I have no doubt that we will be back with another edition oh, of these because it, the, li- the list just keeps going. And if you want more, there's always part one. True. So how about litter bugs, especially people yep. who throw cigarette butts out their window? That is the worst. When I read that, I didn't picture a, a moving car. I pictured someone like in their apartment. Like flicking, flicking it out, out the window. Yeah, flicking a cigarette out their like apartment window. And I was like, that that is rude. <laughs> that is rude. So and then finally, uh, let's see, when your uh when your husband eats food in bed when you're trying to sleep and gets crumbs everywhere. I would crumble. I'm if hearing you did like the little, little rustling of like a little. Can like, you even imagine bringing a bag yeah. of chips into bed while I'm sleeping? Can you ever imagine doing that? I can imagine. I got a good imagination. I could imagine. But you would never. I could imagine you literally freaking out. I would hit. I would. But then again, I could just go like eh, and have my robot arm just like keep <laughs> extending up. And I'll be dropping chips from the ceiling. Like Inspector <laughs> this, Gadget. Like this with the... Like, go, go, Gadget arm. What, what's this viral guy called with the... Salt Bay. Salt Bay. Yeah, right. that's right. Okay. That's all I got. Oh, wow. It was. And by that's one. all I got, I really mean that's not all I got. That's only 40 minutes worth. <laughs> but that's all we got for today. So there you go. Guys, thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe. 
That's Why new. not? That's new. How about a nice uh, like and subscribe for the channel? Yeah. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family about it. Tell yourself about hey, it. Tell your doggy. Uh, and uh, leave us a rating or review on the Apple Podcasts app. It really helps our show. And we appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in this week and every week. And you can expect uh, another episode of the All About It podcast every Tuesday. That's right. You like uh, the show? Give us a like, comment, subscribe. Episode topics? Shoot them in the comments below. That's right. See you anything, next time. Anything else? No. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Till next time. Bye.